Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. So welcome and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you're seeing this face, Karibu sana. My name is Sheba and I'm a fourth and final year medical student currently studying Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine. So in today's video, bismillah, I'm going to be answering some of you guys' questions that you've been leaving in the comment section to some of my videos. Thank you so much for the engagement. I really appreciate it. So on to the first question. The, the person asks, wait, so who is a doctor? In Kenya, what I know is that we have doctors at three levels. So let me just explain them. One, the doctor doctor is someone who has done Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, the undergraduate degree, anything from the undergraduates above it. So if you've completed the MBCHB training, you are regarded as a doctor. And also someone who is also regarded as a doctor is someone who has done the Bachelor of Pharmacy. The pharmacist, after graduating, after completion of their degree, they're also known as doctors with a little bit of a difference in terms of how they practice and the scopes of their practice. But the other doctor is the academic doctor who has progressed from undergraduate to graduate to postgraduate studies which then after that they there's, there's a point on that hierarchical level they they become doctors at that point but generally according to this question i'm assuming like in terms of healthcare the person wanted to know what gets you to become a doctor so a doctor is someone who has in in terms of doctor patient relationship the kind of doctor that we know that everybody assumes is a doctor is the one is the person who has done mbchb from the undergrad up to the undergraduate level up to there or above and anything above it so they are regarded as doctors and for someone who's doing clinical medicine whether the diploma or the degree they're regarded as a clinical officer after finishing their training so the other question or comment i guess is i'm enrolled as a midwife but my dream is to become a medical doctor my friend advised me to cross to clinical medicine at diploma level and then after i cross again uh in mbchb for me to achieve my dream how is it please advise me so i'll say the the at this point, I'm assuming you didn't cut, you didn't make the cut for enrolling as an MBCHB student due to either grades or financial reasons. Because, yeah, and what the, what the friend is advising you is is good that you quit the midwife course and join clinical medicine diploma, which then you can further advance into doing the MBCHB route. Um, you've said you've stated that you want to become a medical doctor, so yeah, that's that's a good advice. But what I would say is, you guys, if if you have the grades, or you have the means to get you to do medicine and you are definitely sure you want to become a medical doctor a doctor that is please avoid wasting your time doing anything else if you're 100 percent sure that you want to become a doctor or you have the financial no, like you have to meet these three things in my opinion that one you must have the grades two you must have the financial means because the in kenya the coops thing is that even if you have like an a minus heavy they're probably not going to offer you a COPS for medicine. They want A students, but then there's the self-sponsored student who can also enroll with same grades who can also enroll into MBCHB. So if you have the grades one, if you have the means, and then you are 100% sure you want to become a doctor, then go for it and avoid wasting time in between. That is my general advice. But then I am I'm, I'm seeing a problem with the advice that I just, with the answer that I just gave. How are you going to know that being a doctor is something that you want? So. One, I would, I would like something I would highly, highly suggest and something that I need that I think we should incorporate more into the healthcare system in Kenya is something called shadowing. If if you've never heard about it, please just just hear me out. It's shadowing is literal shadowing. What is a shadow? Shadow is something that follows you around every single time there's light, every single time there is it follows you around everywhere. So make an effort to try to contact a, physici a physician, try to contact uh, a doctor, try to contact someone in a cause, in a particular field that you're interested in, and just write them an email or like make a call or like tell your parents to talk to them and let them know that you want to shadow them, follow them around the entire day and see what being a doctor is, being what being a nurse is, what being a laboratory uh, technologist, a laboratory scientist is, being what being a clinical officer is. Follow them around for like a few weeks and to just augment the, to just make the, the idea or or the fact that you want to become a doctor or a healthcare practitioner more clear and more yeah more clear and to get to know more of what you're getting yourself into so try to reach out to people and tell them you know what I'm, I'm doing this this and this and i'm about to join uni i'm about to apply to universities and i really wanted to know what it's like to be a doctor what it's like to be a clinical officer what it's like to be a nurse and i would like to shadow you for the entire day or like for a few days in a week so that i get the full-on experience that being a doctor is so that I can make a better decision and also like sitting down with people who are in this field and also watching YouTube videos and also like going to these career fairs that are being held every now and then and talking to these people and interacting you know you're not just going to find these things out by the comfort of your home by you just sitting there and listening like to neighbors and relatives tell you all the stories that they have to tell you and all the things they have to do they that they did with their lives anyways um I think I've gone a little bit far with that but that is the advice I will give you guys so the other question is, after doing master's in clinical medicine, can one be regarded as a doctor? 
based on what I've explained in terms of who a doctor is in Kenya or who is regarded as a doctor in Kenya, you can become a doctor by the academic doctor, the one who has progressed further to academics, like postgraduate studies and advanced in their particular field. So yes, you can become a doctor, but a doctor in the doctor side, the other side of being a doctor, not doctor, doctor. Yeah. So the other question is, bro, I'm confused between choosing nursing and clean, nurse and clinical okay. officer. So please advise me. Um, I will point you back, I will draw you back to the idea of shadowing. I will draw you back to the idea of seeking more information about these particular causes because they are two different things. You can't you can't say a clinical officer is the same as a nurse. No, you can never, you can never say that. And you can't say a doctor is the same as a nurse. You can't say that because there are two different professions and there are two different degrees. There are two different things that are taught separately in school. And even the form of the curriculum is a bit different. Although in the medical field, most of the things people learn, they're somehow related and somehow conjoined to a centered point. But like there is a very, very market difference in terms of the pretty, pretty details, the tiny, tiny details and the core structures and the expectations and the scopes of practice afterwards, after getting these degrees. So I'm not going to advise you to pick one because I don't know who you are. I don't know you from a personal level. I don't know your experiences. I don't know why even you're in the place of choosing between these two things. So what I would advise is, again, draw you back to the idea of shadowing people, shadow as much people as you can. Get to know more about what being a clinical officer entails and what being a nurse, nursing officer entails or a registered nurse entails or a community nurse entails because these things are so different and and one thing like one takeaway from this video i don't want to really make, i don't want to make this video long but like one takeaway from this video that i want to share with everybody who is either before starting or like in the process of choosing or in a dilemma stage of of choosing causes is empower yourself seek as much knowledge about these things as possible like get to know to the tiniest level what a clinical officer is i'm saying this from experience you guys because by the time i was applying for for for, for this degree, um, by the time I was applying to uni, I knew almost every other step to applying to medicine, and I applied. I knew every other step into applying into clinical medicine. I knew what I was getting myself into. Okay, not 100% sure. Some of the things I learned while I was still within the course, which I'm grateful for because I, I didn't go for other options, and I'm so grateful for that. But get to know as much as possible about these degrees, these dilemmas that you're getting yourself into. You're like, oh my God, I want to choose between, because there's also another question that the guy says, um, they want to choose between radiology and and clinical medicine, but they say they want to become a doctor. But radiology, if you consider radiology, radiology is a branch of medicine, as is medicine itself. So I'm not going to tell you choose this or choose that. You just, what do you know about these things? What do you, how much do you know about them to be able to make a very good decision? So learn as much as you can about these things. Talk to people, shadow people, watch YouTube videos, do a, a ton of research. And the other thing I will say is, Tap back into yourself once you've have once you've had all this information about the causes, about what they entail, what the day-to-day -day life is, what the cause itself entails. Because it's stupid or it's ignorant to say that you're going to want you you, you want to know what a doctor does, but you don't want to know about the process that gets you to become a doctor. Because what? Let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment and you know breathe in because it will be ignorant. You will yes, being a doctor is fancied by everybody. It's like the dream job for most people, not everyone. But then, yes, you've, you've shadowed a doctor, you've seen what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, you've known what, it's, what it is to be a doctor, what they do, what they don't do, what they are, like the surgeries, maybe you've attended a few, but then you haven't tapped into the aspect of what gets you to become a doctor. How is the process of medical school? How is, what are the troubles? What are the machinas associated with being, becoming a doctor? You've, you've seen what being a doctor is, so what is, is this process that gets you to become a doctor, you know? It's, it's not easy at all. So in as much as you're getting information about what being a doctor is, get information also about what gets you to, to that particular thing that you want to, to do because it's ignorant, like I said, not to consider that aspect. And then like, like I was saying, then try after getting these two bits of information, the being and the becoming, get to know more about yourself, tap into yourself and, and, and ask yourself, you know, like I've seen what it is, I've seen what it takes to become a doctor. And one, am I willing to go through this thing? Of course, like I don't expect you to make a life, a big life decision when you're 18 years old, but like, is this something, like have your own criteria that you're going to say, you know what, this is enough for me to choose this thing. This is enough for me, I can do this thing. Like maybe, is it is it interesting enough for you or is it is this something that you genuinely want, that you passionately want? Are you willing? Are you someone who is drawn towards Mashida? Like you, you are willing, not drawn, but like someone who is resilient enough or like you believe in yourself enough to overcome the problems that you learned in the becoming phase. Remember, this is the being and then there's the becoming phase. The things, the challenges that you learned in the becoming phase, are you willing to sit through them or like you're just ambassadors of soft lives? So 
that would be my advice for anyone who is in between before starting in between a dilemma choosing this choosing that transferring to this get as much information as you can talk to people who are in this field shadow people who are in this field do your research take get to know what it takes to become these things that you want to become or want you want to get yourself into and then also go back to yourself and ask yourself i've seen what it is to be person x am i is this thing in line with myself you know it's it's a lot of work i know it's a lot of work but if it's something you're willing to do like if it's some remember this is going to be it's going to be part of your life most people associate their careers like for their entire life so this is something maybe that is you're going to it's going to take most of your time as a person you're going to 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 do this thing for a really long time maybe because not all people end up practicing or like being or doing whatever they learned in school but it's going to take your time even if you're not going to reach the point of practice but still the point of learning it and the point of getting there will also be a long time like consider mbchv is like 60 years 60 years is not it's not okay it's 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 a lot but it's also not a lot but it's like 6 years look if you started at 20 you're going to be 26 after finishing the degree that is if you finish in the 6 years that is allocated for you so do the things that i said i really hope i've provided value at that point so the other questions um yeah those are the three key areas that i wanted to talk about in this video so and also you guys if you want at this point if you want a one on one with me about clinical medicine you want to know more about clinical medicine you want to like know the tiny tiny pretty pretty details like this is a shadowing part the shadowing part but virtual shadowing you can contact me at tutored ke like where we can arrange sessions with you guys and talk you through the process talk you through through things answer some of your questions on a one on one level and get to know you guys better and get to answer you guys' questions better and get to like explain a little bit more further or like maybe give you guiding steps on how you're going to do the shadowing how you're going to do your research what are the key areas to look about when you're doing your research like how to choose universities for example how where to study also for example so contact at uh, contact us at tutored ke we'll be gladly and we'll be willing to offer that help so check tutored ke out you guys it's my business so i'd really be glad if you checked it out and give us a follow also on instagram i would really appreciate it so that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for sticking up to this point um i really really do appreciate your support you guys we're almost hitting 2500 subscribers so thank you so so much and subscribe if you haven't i'll see you guys and like this video too so and i'll see you guys in the next video